Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Nice. Hello. Hello, yes, welcome. I can you hear? Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate hello. it. Nice. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to see you one more time. Uh, let's see. We are. Let's see. Sixteen. Still, we have people missing. Appreciate uh, your cameras for the ones that are already with the camera on. And nice. I see that we have full name in the in the mm -hmm. app. Okay. So. Ahí me avisan los que me están escribiendo en el chat ahí porque este, al momento de pasar asistencia. Ok, so uh, let's start. Just let me see something really quick. Let's see, my goodness, we are... 16, Okay, so let's start uh, with the attendance. Okay, appreciate your cameras and everything. Uh, Brenda Claribel, nice to see you. How are you, Brenda? Hello, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, miss, go ahead. Uh, please repeat the question. Uh, the simple question is about how are you? How you feel today? Ah, I feel good, teacher. Um, today I made my my homework and the uh, home chores. Okay, your yes. house house shorts means everything that you do at home, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very good. Appreciate it. Uh, nice. Uh, Byron Giovanni, what about you? How you feel today? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Karen, I'm finished. I'm here. And I'm sorry for the noise. The ruido, how do you say it? Noise, uh, noisy. No. Noise. La teacher tiene apagado el micrófono. I'm sorry, I'm talking on mute. <laughs> okay, but I, I, I'm asking you, uh, Byron, Giovanni, I didn't hear any noise from you, from you. So why you say, sorry for the noise? So where are you? A saber a dónde está? In my house. <laughs> okay, but it's really quiet. Why you say sorry for the noise? No, hay, no, hay ruido ahí. Okay, so um, let's start. Let's continue. Okay, appreciate it that um, you are on time. We do have homeworks, right? So hay tareas eh, de todo un poco quedó por ahí, pero eh, lo importante es que de verdad usted lo haga, verdad? Porque yo puedo decirle, mire, haga esto, lo otro, lo otro, pero si usted solo lo eh, completa porque alguien lo mandó y ya. O sea, eso no es tarea. La idea es que usted piense, medite, analice, trate de responder y, y, y conteste. Ahí sí va a obtener usted eh, aprendizaje, right? So, um, 
be ready, okay? Because we do have homeworks, right, to review, but we need to take advantage of the time, okay? So today it's Wednesday, tomorrow it will be like Friday, right? Because we don't have classes on, on Friday. So um, tomorrow it is on Friday. So we need to be like ready, right? Uh, with everything. So uh, let's see, Olivia Rachel. Hello, Olivia Rachel. Olivia Rasha. Present Miss. Okay, Miss, how are you? How you feel? I'm fine, teacher. You are fine? Okay, very nice. So nice. Uh let's see. Um No, no hay niños ahora, solo Joe Byron, Giovanni veo. Ah, y está Juan Antonio. It's luxury, luxury living room. So, how are you, Juan Antonio? Tell us what is a today date. Well, I am fine. Uh, today I was uh, I stay in my home. I was uh, doing uh, some work for my homework. And, nice. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. So you were doing homework, Sorry. you were at home. So you work from home, right, Juan Antonio? Do you work like Excuse? from home? Do you do like home office? Okay, could you repeat me, please? Yeah, Sorry. Uh, no problem, Antonio. So my question is, if you work from home, if you do like home office or- Long office. Home office. Uh, that means if you work from home, from your house. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's true. And uh, my uh, homework is uh, in relation in relation in relation in relation to my work uh, from to San Salvador. So <laughs> I was you doing, travel. Yeah. So you travel to San Salvador every day or do you work from home? That is my question. If you stay at home and oh. you can do your job from there. Okay. Uh every day I go to San Salvador to Okay, I travel to San Salvador to my work. Okay, so that means that you are traveling, you are not working from home, okay? No problem, yes. nice one, only Antonio. To, sorry, only today I was doing my homework in my home. Okay, so just today mm -hmm. you stay at home, but normally you travel to San Salvador to do your activities, right? Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, Ada Verónica, tell us. Ada Verónica se enoja si no le preguntamos, por eso siempre le pregunto. Ajá, Ada Verónica, tell us uh, what is a uh, today date. Mm, uh, good evening, guys, teacher. Um, this day, I went to Katia Miranda Club. I went with my daughter. Her, her, her has a class swim. Okay, so you went to a, like a tourist place right so and you went with your daughter and you were doing like swimming that was i guess a, a um, school activity right yes okay nice ada veronica nice uh, go ahead also i were i were from home 
um, this chef um dear street mm, uh -huh. let as, one as more time so you were from home and you did it you did what the, the last part repeat it one more time please so you were working from home okay we are good i work from home or oh, in my home from home i was working from home okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. in past street chef ah okay so you were like cooking yes okay so nice and that is for you or for like a business for selling the products or it's just for you for me okay nice okay <laughs> lástima que vir virtual no nos puede compartir para ver si va a ser que nos dé la prueba para ver si de verdad puede <laughs> okay my, my my page fan page at sk we h Okay, so you have a page on social media. So share the name of the of your uh, social media to search your um, page and see what you have. Okay, so nice. Put it in the chat. I will search for that. Okay, or in the WhatsApp group. That's nice. That's all for now. Thank you, Ada Veronica. Very nice. Very good. So you have like your little your little business. Okay. Nice. So let me move on, but I need the date. Uh -huh. uh, Martin de Jesus, tell us what is today's date? Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. You listen. Yep, go ahead. Today, today is Wednesday, uh, June 28, uh, 2023. Okay, yeah, there you go. Very nice. Uh -huh. Today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, June the 28th, okay? Uh, 2023 or 2023. So let me uh, move myself right here into the uh, attendance uh, document. And uh, let's start with the attendance because that's something that we need to do. Let's see. Um, mm, esta no es la lista. Oh, sí. No, no tenemos a nadie que se llame Alba aquí. Deje ver, este es el de ocho nueve, este. Ok, este sí. Ada Verónica. Present. Nice. Alexandra Chamilet. Good evening. I'm here. Nice, miss. Uh, eh, sorry, teacher. Uh, no voy a poder estar eh, con la cámara encendida porque estoy atendiendo algunos asuntos. Tengo que resolver algo de trabajo, pero voy okay. a tratar de escuchar. Okay, Alexandra, no problem. But it's nice that you Thank are you. connected. Okay, no problem. Nice. Alexis Giovanni. <coughs> Present, teacher. Nice, Mr. Alexis. Uh, Alicia Perez. Alicia Perez. Anna Maricelo. Nice. Brenda Claribel. Brenda Claribel. Okay, nice, Miss. Uh, Byron Giovanni. Present, teacher. Nice. Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. No. Eh, Cecilio Antonio. Present, teacher. Nice, Mister. Eh, Hector Jose. Hector Jose, ya no. Ya no. Eh, Jacqueline Vanessa. Present, Miss. Nice, Jacqueline. Eh, Jennifer Arevalo. Present, Miss. Okay, Miss, thank you. Let's see. Then we have eh, Jose Alejandro.
No, José Alejandro, yo creo que no, desistió, ya no vino. Eh, Juan Antonio. Presente, Che. Nice. Catherine Andreina. Catherine Andreina, ¿no? Eh, Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Kevin Alexander. Present. Nice. Mr. Kevin. Uh, Lenin Hernandez. Present, Miss. Nice, Miss Lenin. Uh, Leticia Judith. Present. Nice, Leticia. Eh, Luis Alfredo. Present teacher, I am here. Nice, mister. Be careful, you are driving. Uh, let's see, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Nice, Magdalena. Eh, Martin de Jesus. I'm here. Nice, mister Martin. Eh, Miguel Antonio. Present me. Nice, Mr. Michael, um, Nelson, Eduardo. I hear me. Nice, Mr. Nelson. No, eh, Ezequiel. Present, Miss. Nice, Mr. No, eh. Norma Lisette. Present, teacher. Nice. Olivia Rachel. Present. Nice, Oscar Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Oscar. Eh, Sara I, Idalia. Present. Nice. And Silvia Esther. Good evening. I'm here. Nice. Eh, alguien veo que escribió acá en el chat. Deje mirar. Alicia Perez, where are you, Alicia? Alicia Perez? Alicia, Alicia, Alicia? No. Teacher, present teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So, let's see. Attendance. Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me um, share the screen really quick. And, um, okay, we are going to start with the questions. Did you remember? Se supone que ya tiene las, las, las questions and answer, okay? So the idea was invent, right? So no necesariamente sea verdad, sea mentira, no interesa, lo que interesa es... Uh, answer the questions and the structure, right? For the uh, the way that we answer, okay? So this is uh, different, different uh, WH questions in past, right? So let's start. Um, vamos a ver. Um, Silvia Esther, uh, choose one of your classmates and start with the first question can be this one letter b but remember that we can change the the, the question right so these ones are like the example but let's see so you are going to answer based on the activity that we did yesterday right se supone que en el grupo inventaron o, o verdad o mentira o a alguien right que había hecho algo so para hacerle las preguntas en pasado okay so, if not, so invent. Si no lo hicieron en el grupo ayer por algún motivo, usted invente o si le preguntan a usted. Invente cualquier cosa. Okay? So, uh -huh. Silvia Esther, please uh, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with the first question. Okay, I, don't, perdón, hago la, la primera pregunta o menciono qué es lo yeah. que hice. No, you are going to ask the question to somebody else. Choose uh, one of your classmates and go ahead with the first question and the other person is going to answer the question. Okay, in this case, I will uh, say it to uh, Brenda Claribel. Okay, okay, yes. uh -huh. go ahead. I listened. 
Okay. Uh, where did you go? I went to the Majawal option or Mahawal beach. Okay, very nice. And that's for real, Brenda, or you are inventing? I invent. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, nice, perfect. Now, Brenda, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with the next question. Okay, one minute, please. Um... Okay, I think Leticia, you did. Guillem, okay. okay, Leticia, uh -huh. ready? Go ahead with the question, Brenda. Uh, invent teacher or? They can be the ones that we have here. Oh, okay. Um, what time did you go? Okay, what time Leticia? did you go? Okay. Leticia, you did remember que la historia usted la está inventando, lo que sea que haya puesto. Lo que interesa es darle la respuesta, right? So go ahead, uh, Leticia, you did. I went with my friends to take an exam around um, 6 p.m. Okay, perfect. So remember everything in past, right? So since we have the auxiliary there in the question, so you know that all the verbs uh, will be in past, right? Nice, Leticia, now go ahead with another classmate and another question, please. Uh, Juan Antonio Van de Paz. Brian. Okay, so ready and go ahead with your, with your question, Leticia. Who did you go with? Who did you go with? Juan Antonio. Who? Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Who is the uh, king, right? Mm -hmm. Who did you Who with? Who did you go with? Ah, did you go quick? Mm -hmm. um, well, and he, he did not, she did uh, my sister. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem, Juan Antonio. Listen, who okay. did you go with? Le están preguntando con quién fue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the question. So now you need to answer in past, right, Juan? Porque no es que va yeah. ahorita o que va a ir mañana. Es que ya fue ayer y se acabó, o el día que haya sido, right? So who did you go with? Ajá, uh -huh, Juan Antonio. Okay. When... Mm, nice, well, Martin. So, el, necesito el verbo de que yo fui con fulano, con su tano. I went. Uh -huh. I went. Go ahead. I, I went. went. I went with my friends. Okay, I oh. went with my friends. It's okay, it's okay. Nice. Uh, Juan Antonio, choose one of your classmates and continue with another question. Okay. Mm. With este uh, Martin, right? <laughs> okay, Martin okay. de Jesus. Uh -huh. Go ahead with the question. Yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. One question, you can use where, the where? ones that, that we have. Uh -huh. Where? Okay. No, what did you watch in the TV last night? What did you watch on TV in last the... night? Okay, what did yeah. you watch on TV last night? Uh-huh, Martin. Um, repeat, please, uh, Luis. Mm-hmm. Juan Antonio is asking Juan. you the question. Uh -huh. 
One repeat, please, the question. What did you watch on the TV last night? I I watch TV with my with my daughter. Okay, so that would be with who, right? So I watched TV with my daughter. Okay, so that would be the person, right? It's okay. I understand your answer, but remember, the the question is. What? Which, yes. What? What program? Yes. Okay, or it was a sport. Okay. Um, I but um, uh, uh, rapid furious, a movie. Okay, that's a movie. So I watched a movie yesterday on TV or on TV yesterday, right? Nice. One more time, our team, choose one of your classmates. Now, remember that the idea was write two more questions, right? Aparte de las que estaban aquí. So the one that you create, Martin, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the questions that you create or that you write, I'm sorry, that you wrote in this case yesterday, right? Okay. Um... Maria Magdalena Mendes. Maria Magdalena. Uh -huh. um, uh, what? Uh, why did you go to the park uh, last last uh, weekend? Uh, repeat, please. Why did you go to the park last weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you go to the park last weekend, Maria Magdalena? Why? Um, because uh, I went, I went. Disfrutar, como dice Because I went yeah. to enjoy. To enjoy with my daughter. Okay, very nice. Now, now uh, Maria Magdalena, choose one of your classmates. And another question, especialmente a los que no les hemos preguntado, hay que preguntarles. Okay, let me see, teacher. Um... Ana Maricela Flores. Hmm, Ana Maricela, go ahead with your question. Está, está presente, sí. Sí, ahí está Ana Maricela. Uh -huh. okay, Ana Maricela, what did you cook on Saturday? Uh, I... I got a I prepared sopa de tortilla. Okay, I did or I cook, right? In this case, I cook uh, sopa de tortilla, right? Okay, that would be tortilla soup, or I guess it's like Mexican, right? Mexican, aha, uh -huh, Mexican food. Okay. Nice, Ana Maricela, one of your classmates. Uh -huh. Ana Maricela, who? You say Jennifer, who? Jennifer Okay, Jennifer. So go ahead with your question, please. Maricel. How did you get there? I'm sorry, Maricel. 
How did you get there? Who? I'm sorry, Marcela. Casi no se le escucha. How did what? How did you get there? Ah, how did you get there, Judith? No, it's not Judith. It's Jennifer. I'm sorry. Jennifer, how did you get there? One minute. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So remember that it's kind of weird, right? Because we are inventing, right? O sea, no todos estamos hablando la misma versión porque fue en grupo que se hizo esto, right? So cada uno tuvo una historia diferente, okay? Thank you. Ahí la puso Maricela en el chat. How did you get there? Uh, falta el question mark ahí para la preguntita, pero eh, ajá. O sea, la idea es que que usted responda en pasado, el qué, dónde fue, qué hizo, con quién, es lo de menos. Lo que queremos es como practicar la estructura, ¿verdad? Del pasado del verbo o si yo uso un auxiliar en el caso de los negativos, ¿ok? So, invente ahí usted, Jennifer, ¿ok? So, the question, okay. how did you get there? Mm. Ajá, uh -huh. Jennifer. Remember el pasado, cómo llegó allí. Ok, ajá, uh -huh. cómo llegó, cómo fue, hizo para llegar a X lugar. En español usted me dirá, mire, nos fuimos en camión, ¿verdad? Mire, nos fuimos en avión. Mire, nos fuimos en caballo. ¿Qué sé yo, verdad? O sea, en pasado. So, what will be your answer, Jennifer? Um, sería, we went by bus. Okay, can be, we went by bus. Okay, ajá. Uh -huh. Or, ajá, uh -huh. we used uh, public transportation, can be. Okay, yeah, that's the answer, okay. So, look, uh, because of the time, we are going to continue, okay. We are going to continue, okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, how was your vacation? This is an, a small conversation between Celia and Don, okay? It says, um, hi, Don, how, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. Uh, we had a great time, lucky you. How long were you there? About a week, fantastic. Uh, was the weather okay? Not really, it was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The weights were amazing. So uh, what was the best thing about the treat? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, you won't believe it. So that is the conversation, okay? So, are you able to discriminate? We have an, a, a word in English. I don't know. <gasps> Sylvia Stair, my goodness. Where you are is the place that I would like to be. <laughs> my goodness. Vean like esa. in the background. Yeah, amazing. And it's like, you know, look, it's with effects. So, esa es como la pone Sylvia Stair. Yo acá. Bueno, yo a ley tengo que tener este, pero, pero en otra ocasión, porque el, ese tiene movimiento, right? Sí, en la parte de la cámara se va a video settings o configuraciones en background and effects o fondo de pantalla y efectos. Uh -huh. eh, ahí están las que están por default eh, y hay más. In your computer, but or yeah, but this one, phone? this one, Sylvia, that would be a filtro de video, video filtro, porque I have desenfocar, I have 
background, pero para poner una de movement, ¿cómo le voy a hacer? Eh, yo pienso, I, I think that is the versions because uh, I Ajá. will share a screenshot in the chat. And okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I have this one, but I, so these ones are the ones that are already with the disenfoque. Ahí um, están las opciones que me salen, pero. Ah. Vaya, pero es que. No sé bueno. en qué está, la verdad. But, you, but my question is, did you download that no. picture? It's already there. Eh, no, it's here. Deje ver, ¿a dónde lo mando en el? Ah, ahí está mandando. Do you have only two video screen? No uploaded. No, it's just one, but let's see. But you have it already there. Yes, uh, up here. Hmm. Bye, deje ver. Yo estaba compartiendo pantalla, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. So that's technology, mire, that's technology, ok. So the thing is que... Eh, no, a mí no me da eso. Me salen otros como este. You are premium, Silvia? No. No. <laughs> A free account. Yeah, the thing is that it's in a computer, okay? So, si Maybe. usted está en computer, si le va a permitir, si no, no, okay? Pero aquí tendría que aparecerme a mí la opción, pero eh, no sé por qué. Bueno, me voy a quedar con Christmas lights. <laughs> Vaya, Leticia, Judith ya puso ahí veo un background. Yeah. No es un background, esos son como los... Los teams filters. que aparecen, I feel first. Okay, so that's nice. So we need to take advantage of the uh, features that you remember, features? Yes. Yes, I remember the chair. Hay avatars también. Okay. So me, in this case, in esta sí, esta, esta de, como es de la, de acá de ellos, este sí tiene efectos, este sí es versión pagada. Me aparecen otras opciones acá, la verdad que sí. Ajá, aquí está. So, uh, voy a buscar mañana, pero es que yo no puedo quitar este, voy a buscar uno que sea de inglés corporativo que se mueva. <ríe> Porque no puedo poner otro, tiene que estar este. Okay. Hey, Giovanni, my goodness. Mira, hasta una, una beer tiene ahí. No, no es una beer, es un... <laughs> Martín está en el bosque, in the forest. Okay. So nice. Nice. So let's continue. My goodness. Vamos a ver. So, ah, ya me acordé que, en que estábamos. So do you know what is infer? Cuando yo le digo infer, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué entiende? ¿Qué es eso? Inform o infer. In Spanish, in Spanish we say um, inferir, no sé, inferir. Mm. So, my question is, what can we infer from this conversation? Because they are talking about something that it's already gone, right? The conversation is in past. So they are talking about the last vacations or the vacations from Don, okay? And he says that it was great that he went to Hawaii and that he was doing different activities that the weather was not so good and so on. But look at the picture. Look at the picture, and at the end, Dom says, well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. So, ¿qué será eso? Pero, 
Mm. I it's don't know. It's a, if... a competition, mm -hmm. the surfers. Ah, okay. Based on the picture, so it says right here that we there was a surfing contest. What is a contest? Como contendencia, contendiente, algo así. Competencia. Yeah, exactly. There was a eh, una competencia de surf. Okay. So. And what do you think that happened at the end? Look at the picture. Hey, it's done right here. Um, he's surfing. I think he will surf Mm, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. He is surfing. Okay. He surfing. Mm -hmm. So we can infer right here that he was the winner. Okay. So we can infirm, we don't know because it doesn't say in the conversation, but we assume, right? So we infer, that's the word, we infirm that at the end, so this guy then was the winner of the contents, right? Porque mire, ahí se ve como que está catando las miradas de todo el mundo, right? So, so that was something important, something uh, incredible that happened to, to him during the vacation that he was on Hawaii, okay? So Peter, let's see. Yeah, he's yeah, breaking can... the waves. <laughs> uh, can be, right? He is, he is, right? So we are assuming that because of the surfing contest, so probably he was the winner, okay? He was the winner because that's what we can analyze from the picture and that it says that something incredible happened. You won't believe it, right? So. Uh, the past of B, esto ya usted lo sabe, was and where. Desde que yo veo was and where, verbo to be, pero en pasado, ¿verdad? Verbo to be presente, a mis are, ser o estar, right? So in this case, fui, estuve. Yo fui, yo estuve, él fue, él estuvo, ella fue, ella estuvo. Nosotros fuimos, nosotros estuvimos. Ellos fueron, ellos estuvieron, okay? So that will be the past, right? So just let's read the questions and the answers, right? Uh, let's see, um, Antonio Cortez, help us with the reading, please. Read the first uh, three questions and the answers, please, Antonio Cortez. Re repeat, please. Uh... Okay, no problem, uh, Mr. Antonio, just help us reading, okay? Go ahead and read the questions with the answers, the first three, okay? The first three questions with the answers, just read. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the well? Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Okay, perfect. Uh, Luis Alfredo, continue with the next uh, three, please. Go ahead. Luis Alfredo, you are on mute. Está ahí en mute. Hi, teacher. Teacher, really, hi. Okay, just a moment. Luis Alfredo, no sé si que es que tiene problema ahí o no, no sé si no nos escucha. Creo que se quedó frisado ahí, Luis Alfredo. Ahí está. So what happened? Mm, ahorita está en mute. Ahí está activo su audio, Luis, pero no se le escucha, fíjese. Verifique ahí que esté bien conectado porque, mira, ahí se parece que ya activó el audio de su micrófono, pero no se le escucha nada, nada, nada. 
verifique, please. So, uh, go ahead, uh, Martin, please continue. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, very nice. So all these are pass of B questions, okay? The contractions, this is something that we are clear, right? Wasn't, it's exactly the same to be, to have was not, weren't. We're not, okay? So when we are talking, I will recommend to use the contractions, right? But uh, when we are writing, it's kind of format to write, you know, full form, right? Without the contractions, okay? So complete this conversation. We are going to do it like now because this is too easy, okay? No creo que tengamos problemas en esto, okay? Lo que usted tiene que saber, y quizás si le voy a, le voy a mandar esta imagen, por si al caso hubiera alguien que, que todavía tenga la duda cuando yo voy a usar el was y cuando voy a usar el where, que no creo que sea el caso, ¿ok? So yo digo I was, he was, she was, it was, right? So todos los demás, where, no hay donde perderse, ¿ok? So um, I was a student two years ago, uh, she was my... Uh, classmate in the last class and so on, okay? So let's complete this, okay? Solo déjenme les comparto esta imagen solo para que la tengan porque ahí está, was where. O sea, aquí usted lo que tiene que identificar es, es eso. El, en el pasado del presente simple ahí no hay falla porque el did es para todos, ¿verdad? Es más fácil. Yo digo, he did, I did, we did, they did, you did. So, todos son did, ¿ok? Pero con el be, no, ¿ok? Está como en el verbo to be, este, que yo debo de saber cuál auxiliar le corresponde. En este caso, el be, right? So, the verb be, but in past, was in where. So, let's see. Number one. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Um, Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. So, you are number one, letter eight. And let's see, uh, Catherine Giselle, B, letter B. So go ahead, uh, Catherine Giselle and Miguel Antonio, go ahead. Um, B or A? A. Yes. Yeah, you are, you are number one, letter eight. Okay. How long, uh, what? What are your parents in a room? Um, they were three, four, two weekends. No. Continue, um, continue, Miguel. Um, were they in long the whole, whole time? No saying where they also we to Paris. Okay, so let's see how long where, right? How long were your parents in Europe? Europe, Europe, okay? They were for two weeks, okay? Uh, were they mm -hmm. in London the whole time? No, they weren't they also went to paris okay nice um miguel you raise your hand i have a question puede repetir más bien dicho europa en inglés europe so, okay europe europe mm -hmm. europe europe, europe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. paris okay paris paris both are correct okay uh veronica go ahead Veronica, you raise your hand. Levantó la manita ahí, ok. No sé si tiene una pregunta. Se traba, teacher. 
Ah, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Let's see. Next one, number two. Vamos a ver a quién no le he preguntado de los que sí tienen cámara, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que ya todos pasaron. So Luis, ready. Luis Alfredo, you are ready now, right? Nice. So number ready. two, number two, letter eight. Um, Leticia Judith, you are letter B, number two, letter B. So go ahead, Luis Alfredo and Leticia. Okay. Luis, what you was... in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How how is it? He... Remember que estamos completando con was and where. No hay otra he cosa. Was... Aquí solo es was, where, no hay otro, auxiliar, solo el verbo to be en pasado, was, where, start all over again, please, vamos, empecemos una vez más, Luis Alfredo, go ahead, number two, letter eight. Ok, uh, were you in Los Angeles last weekend? It was great, but... But it we start all was... over again, Leticia. Aquí vamos, okay? Volvió a comenzar ahí, Francisco. Oh, sorry. No, mm -hmm. I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. Yes. How is it? Mm -hmm. How was it? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was great. But it was foggy and cool. As usual. As usual, okay? Nice. Remember the, the be in past for it is was, right? Usted de que ve ahí el it. Yo sé que el was es para I, he, she, it. Okay? So, no, 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 no nos confundamos en esto. Usted ve la imagen que yo le mandé. Media vez usted tenga. Los sujetos del was, todos los demás son where. Así de fácil. Más sí. adelante ustedes van a ver una estructura gramatical. Más adelante, si es que no lo han visto en algún otro lado. O... Módulos anteriores no está, porque yo he estado con todos los otros módulos y no está eso. Pero más adelante usted va a escuchar hablar sobre las conditionals. Ok, tal vez alguien... Ya he escuchado hablar los conditionals. Hay different conditionals, right? So, ese es el famoso if. If. Ok. ¿Por qué menciono esto? Porque ahorita usted tiene grabado aquí que yo digo I was. I was. I was. Pero cuando llegue al if, usted va a tener que decir I were. If I were you. Pero va el if. Es una estructura especial que se llama condition. Le digo por si algún día en alguna lectura, en algún libro, en algún algo, usted mira, if I were you, y usted va a decir, ve, este no puede, porque dice, I were, yes, I was. Ok, está correcto. No es que esté malo, es que ese es una, un tiempo, no es tiempo gramatical, es una estructura gramatical que se conoce como las conditionals. Y ahí sí. Como que yo le diga en español, si yo fuera usted, X cosa va. Mire, si yo fuera usted, yo la, 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 lo que sea. Pero esa frase, si yo fuera usted, si yo fuera él, si yo fuera ella, si yo fuera tal cosa, ¿ok? If I were you, ¿ok? So, ese paréntesis solo por si algún día lo mire, no voy a decir, ve, la teacher me engañó. No, está bien, está bien, es en esa parte, ¿ok? So, let's see. The last one, my goodness, the time. So, um, two participants raise the hand. So, Silvia and Ada Veronica, go ahead. Silvia A and Veronica B. Okay. Uh, were you away last week? Yes, I was in Istanbul. Really? How long were you there? For... Mm -hmm. Almost a week, I was there on business. 
perfect, okay? Nice, so, ahí estamos bien. So, creo yo, esperaría que no haya problemas con esto, pero si usted lo tiene, busque, busque ahí una información. So, mañana véngase preparado, mañana vamos a escribir en pasado, a ver cómo andamos ahí la escritura. So, um, let's see. The time is over almost. Si quiero validar antes que se vayan el attendance de las almitas que no respondieron asistencia. Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio no está. Héctor José ya no viene. José Alejandro ya no vino. Catherine Andreina. Catherine Andreina, no. Y nada más, digamos que son dos almas faltando porque las otras dos almas ya no, ya no mucho. Eh, Ezequiel, a usted ya le puse, no es, no, solo menciono al final los que no tienen el attendance, right? So, um, ¿cómo van con los verbos? Ya se puede unos sus 50. Maybe. Más, más dice. Más. ¿Cómo van con el teléfono? Uno, ok, 500, nice. So, eh, ¿cómo van con el, con el teléfono? Lo tienen en inglés, me hacen la, la marufia y lo, en el día lo andan en español y antes en de inglés. la clase lo cambian a inglés. No, teacher. Y Ay, después no digamos cómo mano. hacer. Hay <ríe> que smartphone. Okay, your smart TV. Okay. Smart TV, no. Yeah, smart TV, your smartphone. Okay. So, hágalo, hágalo, hágalo de verdad, hágalo. Mire, créame que va a aprender. ¿Usted quiere aprender inglés? Hágalo. Pero si usted nunca hace un esfuerzo, un sacrificio que, que cueste, eh, no, no, se nos hace un poco más complicado. Hágalo, ahí anda el teléfono en inglés. Vea, uh -huh. mira el weather, ahí puede ver un montón de cosas que uno lo dice todos los días o lo ve todos los días, the time, the date. Allí le aparece la fecha en inglés. O sea, la hora que yo pregunto, usted puede ver el teléfono. ¿Ve? Ahí dice Wednesday, June 28. So, that's everything that, it, that you need to. to to have, right? So, ahí tiene un montón de cosas que aprender. Okay? So, the time is over. So, tomorrow it's our Friday, even though it's Thursday, right? But will be our Friday. So, do not miss classes. Mañana eh, tenemos el último día para trabajar la plataforma. Yo sé que varios estaban revisando. Varios ya lo completaron, pero se habían un par de almitas ahí que les faltaban unos pelitos para llegar al midterm exam. Hágalo para que no lo vayan a a poner ahí en la, en la lista negra de los más buscados el día viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. So, time is over. Good night. Bye, bye. Take care. See you tomorrow, ¿ok? See, See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Thank you. Good night.